Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Gather around the sacred circle. It's time to power up. Offering imagination magic. Open and receive the wisdom, guidance, and acceleration given from the power up plants of lupine, vervain, ladies' mantle, and elder. Offering imagination magic. We command with love, may we feel this power within us. See yourself surrounded by your herbal allies. Today we have flowers of lupine and vervain and ladies mantle along with elder and ash and oak and ivy and willow surrounded in our circle. Every day of our lives we take from Mother Earth and Mother Nature, our energy for life. So we often forget that it is a give and a take, a sacred giveaway. So let us take a moment right now to sit in silence and count the magnificent things that we do have in this life. Even if only the wondrous of being given life is all that we can come up with. Let us count our blessings. Let us feel gratitude for our great mother, Mother Earth. In reflection, we ask ourselves, what have I given back to her lately? How have I helped her to heal? So think of the higher vision of life and balance on this earth and realize that the greatest gift you can give Mother Earth and also your fellow humans is the gift of your own enlightenment. So in this way, you tear away the veils of ignorance and present the magnificence of your being. You present your magnificent self to everyone who gets to experience you, who gets to lay lay their eyes on you. Your being is your gift. Your releasing of your own personal ignorance is your gift to Mother Earth and all her children. When you can step into that energy, everyone around you is uplifted and inspired just by your energy. This is your offering. I am Vervain, and as you power up your offering, you power up your imagination and your magic. I encourage you to give more of your offerings back to Mother Earth during the times of day between dawn and dusk, between those in-between moments when it's not quite day and it's not quite night and it's not quite night and it's not quite day. In these in-between moments, offer your attention and offer yourself as receivers 
of the magic that Mother Earth is ready to give to you. I am Vervain and I encourage you to let the magic in. Because when you allow more magic into your life, you allow more possibilities into your life. And the more possibilities that you open yourself up to, the more you will receive and the more you will then also have to offer. Yeah, it does take a powering up of imagination sometimes to see the idea of more magic in coming in, see the possibility of having more to offer. Imagination, powering up imagination, exploring the wilderness of your own soul through contemplation. Yeah, it brings you to the altar of your imagination. So to have a circle of imagination in your being, you need to walk with that wild, instinctual, untamed side of your nature all the time, knowing its power. So you know your energy, you know what you are capable of. If And sometimes you don't even have to know it, you just know it. Just like a pregnant woman has a baby inside of her, she can go around doing her daily tasks. She does not need to focus on the unborn life in order for its nature to continue to grow. So there are some things that Mother Nature, Mother Earth, the divine consciousness, infinite intelligent wisdom that is you takes care of. You don't have to get under the hood of the car and make the motor go. It just goes. So you put a lot of trust and a lot of faith in a lot of things like that. And then that frees you up to work more with your imagination, to be open to more inspiration coming in. A lot more inspiration will come in after a time of reflection. Yes, the contemplation that will take you to the altar of your imagination. After the seed of creativity is planted, then that inspiration sprouts and grows like a bad weed. (laughs) Once you begin your creative work, the energy of the universe comes to you and then imagination flows. So you say to yourself, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I go into the wild places within me. I go on unknown journeys into sacred places within my mind. A place where all things are created but not yet formed in reality. And so therefore, I create my reality with my imagination, with my thoughts, with my focus, with my feelings, with my innate wisdom. So today we are powering up our imagination and we're being asked to use our imagination with love with beauty and strength and purpose to create visions of tomorrow's reality. So in this way, we use our influencing positive thoughts and actions for the highest good of all. We form our new ideas and images and concepts first within us. Then we see them manifest and be created outside of us. So powering up our imagination this is divine inspiration and these herbal allies and these friends and these sacred geometries that are on these cards in front of us this is an abundance of energy around us around me around you and it really gives us the opportunity the offering to create something truly spectacular.
I am Lupine, and yes, I want you to be positive and loving and know that imagination is creativity. I want you to express yourself and let your imagination assist you in letting go of any creative blocks, allowing your dreams to come true. This is your soul opening up and singing its own unique song as you let your imagination power up when you choose thoughts that are imbued with love they become your reality so pay no more attention to the negative thoughts why because you don't want to bring that energy to it So visualize the components that you want in your life. If you can see it, you can be it. I am Lupine and I want you to train your mind to only have positive thoughts, to only attract positivity into your life. You know the flip side of the coin. You know the negativity. And now you need to consciously and deliberately choose to know positivity. Merge with the cosmic consciousness. Allow your mind to travel free without boundaries and allow your mind to be the great creator that it was intended to be and know that imagination is in your toolbox. So as we allow imagination to unblock, you know, some of these create creativity walls that we come up against the creative block, as we allow imagination to open the door, what we have then waiting for us is the energy of magic. So we are surrounded today by our herbal allies and one of them is ladies mantle ladies mantle just highly feminine energy herb i mean medicinally it's used to stop bleeding and it's a remedy for excessive menstruation and all types of wounds but also it just ladies mantle it really has this oracle property of the feminine energy very gentle creative magical vibes so anyways as we get this creative block to the side and we utilize powering up imagination to do that we allow the possibilities of more magic to come into our life the act of creation the act of manifesting the energy of the high priestess real magic happens when we we allow it to flow and without expectations. So the frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move towards possibilities, expressions that are so grand and profound that a lot of times we can't imagine but if we can allow ourselves to imagine them then magically they will manifest so all that is required is our belief in their manifestation so i don't believe in magic well if somebody says that guess how much magical shit they have in their life very little what you believe is what is going to be true for you All realities are different and all truths are true. What would you like yours to do for you? Powering up magic. Powering up the ability to see in the in-betweens. Powering up magic to flow freely in our lives. Not because we've become wizards and witches of magic and witchcraft and all things woo woo but because it is just naturally what we have access to and who we are (laughs) 
I am Elder, the Elder Flower, and I am here to tell you it is time to stand in your power like a priestess. I am here to remind you that you are a spiritual being having a physical experience and you can absolutely have a powerful effect on how your life works. Yes, it is all about belief and also confidence, skill, and creation. So just like the priestess, you are a powerful manifester. You are able to create things that you need in your life and want in your life using your heart and mind and the divine power of the universe. So those in-between places and times and spaces, when you have one foot in the physical world and one foot in the spiritual world, you are indeed the bridge between heaven and earth. And it is time to know the magical enchantments that you can perform, that you can manifest, that you can magically bring forth. So it's true. If you do not believe in magic, your life will not be magical. It's just that simple. It is what you make it. Magic is part of the un- knowable. You can't really put it into words. You can't really describe it, but gosh darn it, it exists. It's what makes your life extraordinary or not. (laughs) Magic is part of the goodness of your spirit. It's just who you are. Like you just have it. It's really actually not anything special in a way. Just some people deny its existence. Magic is mysterious. It's intriguing and it should be a part of your spiritual life if you choose it. So magic is what we are all looking for, right? But if you try to put it in a box and define it and describe it and hold it and name it, you'll lose it. You have to tiptoe around it. You have to talk around it, dance around it. You can describe what led you there and give thanks for the part of the universe that is unknowable and full of color and strength and magic. But if you try to put it into simpleton words within your head, it dissipates. So you just enjoy it. You just enjoy the relationship that comes from magic. A little forgetting, a little remembering, a little allowing, a little surrendering, a little releasing, a little opening, a little receiving, a little powering up of imagination and offering. Here comes magic. Here comes the mysteries of creation. Here comes actually what we call life. (laughs) And just being passionate and alive and enjoying existence is pretty much enough of an invitation in your life for magic. Thank you for joining me today. We hopefully have opened and received the wisdom and guidance and acceleration given from our Power Up Plant Ally friends of Elderflower and Ladies Mantle and Lupine and Vervain and allowed ourselves to power up offering and imagination and magic. And as we have done so, we command with love, may we feel this power within us. And so it is. This Affirmation Minute is brought to you by our sweet little herb of the week, chickweed. And I offer them all to you. I move energy with my mind. I strengthen my self-confidence. 
I give gratitude for all that I have in this now moment. I release heavy memories and start fresh. I appreciate the little things. I offer grace and compassion for the inner wisdom I have received. I move energy with my mind. I strengthen my self-confidence. I give gratitude for all that I have in this now moment. I release heavy memories and start fresh. I appreciate the little things. I offer grace and compassion for the inner wisdom I have received. And so it is.